our new bush camp for tonight. Under these trees, you usually find kangaroos under them. I'm not sure if there's one under that one, but they're down the other end, there are about six or seven under it. So we're about 10 k's out of Wyala and there's lots of uh, beach camping spots all the way along. So you can go for a swim. So we don't have to worry about the sand this time because we have pebble rocks everywhere. There's a couple down there. So you can go for a swim in there. You can just camp all the way along. Well, it's supposed to be pretty hot days today and tomorrow. 40 degrees. So we're in the water early hours of the morning and then there's a couple of dolphins here I'm just having a play This is the only way to fish in the morning. Swimming in the water. Well, no bites. They obviously don't like squid. So we'll just sit here in the water and chill chill. Chill chill. Kangaroos are all waiting to come down to the water but they're waiting for us to get out. So they've gone back up there hiding in the bush. There's people over there sitting under the tree so they can't go under that tree. It's nice and clear. Rocky buff. Right, we changed camps this morning. We only shifted up about three sites up the road. Two kangaroos over there going for a swim. So we moved up to this rocky area. So much cleaner on your feet. The tide's going out. Kangaroos having a swim, and there was a dolphin out there somewhere over there. Or bird. Thirty-eight degrees today, and forty tomorrow. So every time we get hot, just run down to the water, have a swim. Kangaroos are swimming. Heaps of blue swimmer crabs out there. Caught about five this morning, but a little bit undersized.
Well, we just pulled up in Wyala. Fill up the water tanks, empty the rubbish. Just have a quick look around town. And then we'll head down the coast and find a beach camping spot. beach there but still a lot of seaweed pretty cool looking sculpture <laughs> just going for a walk out to the circular jetty steel mill over there well we're at White Sands Beach Camp on the Air Peninsula for a couple of days working our way along the peninsula back to Wards WA so we're just here three sites here those two just there and one here on the front ocean view then you come down to the beach for a swim drive down here with your four drive if you want but it's only a very short beach the 40 degree days have finally dropped off now we're back down to 30s so let's just hope it stays a bit cooler breeze in today cool breeze this time yeah has been stinking hot the last five days and every powered site in, in the area is booked out three sites here they are marked five but the council only allows three so they're not overcrowded
Well, today's weather has dropped right off and it's quite cool today, so all the snakes have come out today. So we've had one go past the back of the van, one across that trail over there when we come back from the beach. So I told these people here that there's snakes in the area and then what happened next was crawled under his chair. And then it's just sat outside his van. The snake wasn't really interested in going anywhere. So at the moment it's gone back into that bush over there with the other one. So there's two in there. You just got to keep an eye out for them. Because they're very active today. Looking for a feast. Well, this morning we're at Point Given Campground for a couple of days. Down here, you got rock pools. A bit of beach around the corner. Bit of overcast because I think we've got a bit of rain coming in the next couple of days. Got some sand dunes there if you're game with your four wheel drive, very soft. Point given where we're at at the moment. It's pretty much just all rocky coastline up this way. Not sure what's around the corner. We're going to have a look. Just out for a walk along the beach, Port Gibbon. Apparently, there's a sea lion colony that lives down here, probably on the point. That's why they say no dogs on the beach. just pulled into Port Neal have a quick look around just got a couple of campgrounds to look at just up the road Jetty. It's a bit windy today, a little bit of rain which is coming from WA. Alright, we just pulled up at Cape Hardy Beach for one or two days. It's a very windy day today. So we're just down here in the corner on our own. And if you look in the van, there's the ocean straight out the window. Green's hair is getting blown and messy so she has to put a hat on. So I'm just going to get down the beach and see if I return. It's only little bits of rain here and there but next to nothing. Check out them waves. Keep an eye out for snakes because they're everywhere.
big rock pool in there if it was on a calmer day because the rocks protect it from the ocean caravans way down there well this is Tumby Bay up the road at the RV campsite thought we'd move on because it was pretty windy being right on the ocean well we're at P Port Lincoln and this is the view of the harbour from our site and go for a walk shortly we're all set up here on this hill there's the missos she's doing her job this morning of washing just walking down to the jetty just in front of the caravan park we're just up the top go for a swim here if you want and these guys are out catching squid, good squid out here as well. A lot of fishing boats in the area. Just sitting down under the shady tree in front of the caravan park. Try for some good fishing later if it doesn't get too rough. Just having a drive around Port Lincoln after our nice swim. There's a big port here where they load up the ships. Probably grain by the looks of the solos. Another jetty. Good day today, all the kids are out swimming. Right, today we are out exploring Whaler's Way. So you've got to pay 40 bucks to get onto private property and then you explore all the little scenic spots along the way. Windy and overcast.
Bay Swimming, Swimming Hole. Hole. And it's called Beautiful Rock Pool. There's your swimming hole. Well, <clears throat> there's your swimming hole. Check out all these boulders. Two ways to get down there. One's a very steep dirt track up there, but if you go around the corner, there's a ladder. That's just been eroding away over the years. Okay, the journey back. Right, this one is Whale Chasers Crevice. So, we've got water on both sides of us. So, it must be a bit of a point. You just don't know how close to stand to these edges because it's all undermined it everywhere. Come to check out some of the seals on the rocks. Don't know if you can see it, but there's a big pile of sea lions down there. About ten or so, more than ten.
uh, just checking out Moonlight Bay. This is the other side of Moonlight Bay. Wow, look at all that. We've been on the other side, around the other corner, so I have to take a look in here. All caves in there. You can just see how the ceiling's just fallen down. Alright, this one is Thick Stone Crevice. 
this one's pretty much at the end of the trail. That's a pretty cool looking crack. It's just straight down. at Frenchman's Bay this is a camp spot just at the beginning of Whaler's Way so you can drive your four drive down onto the beach camp here and you can surf so there's a viewing platform here we're gonna have a look Today we're out exploring Lincoln National Park, just having a look at all the campgrounds around. And this one's Surf Fleet Cove. So pretty much all the campgrounds will have beach access. It's like the tide's out today, or this morning.
check out these ones. So you can go up to, drive back and go up to Stanford Hill. I don't know if that's. All right, this one's Fisherman's Point. onto the beach here campsites just up on the point right we're heading out to carcass rock and you wouldn't get a caravan in here and it's a very rocky road camper trailers only Well, that was two kilometers of very rocky road to come to Carcass Point. Look at all that seaweed. Well, that must be Carcass Rock. Windy side of the um, national park. Oh, hello. Hi. Look, 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 look. Down for a leisurely stroll. Well, this is Engine Bay Campground. Just past the emu coming in. We'll get a fire pit. Tides out. here at the lighthouse right this is September Beach camp area Doesn't look too bad. Camping area is just up there. 